guys, it's Daryl's Probs here, and this is episode 19 of my Universal Minecraft episode. So today we're doing end gateway spawners. Well, it's not just a spawner, but this spawner will be in the description, okay guys? So go down there, copy the uh, code, and then all you have to do is paste it on your Universal Minecraft editor, and you'll have this in your inventory, okay? Straightforward. Um, I have gone over how to make this before in uh, episode 14. Uh, I'll leave a link for that in the description as well. But anyway, let's get on with this tutorial. So, if you want to end gateway on Universal Minecraft, it's a bit harder than using MCC tool chest. Because, yeah, we can't properly edit blocks on Universal Minecraft editor yet. I don't know if he's bringing it out in the future, hopefully. Who knows? But anyway, so what you need to do is place the spawner down and as you can see, if I walk really close to it, it only activates then. As you see, a spawner, the spawner did spawn uh, end gateway. So all you need to do is delete that and then that's it, you got your end gateway. But if you walk through it, nothing happens, right? <laughs> Just this purple beam, like if you are, you know, going through it. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to edit that quickly and I'm going to also show you something else that I found out whilst playing around with these. This is quite weird. Now, as you can see, we've got a chest, a sign and another chest, right? I'm pressing my button on that. I can't even open that. I can't do anything with that. Let's just place some blocks and I can't do anything with that. So this is like an anti-grief mode. But, watch this, if I walk into this, boom, I get teleported. How awesome is that? Same with signs, same with ender chests. But yeah, there's no teleporter there. So what I've done here is replace the chest with an end gateway on the exact same coordinates, okay? And somehow it works. Very weird. But cool. I have seen this in the past, but only with MC Edit. Not with just using like Universal Minecraft Editor. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do that as well with a banner. Okay. So let's hop on the PC. I'll show you how to just set up a end gateway from my spawner, okay? And then we'll do the banner together as well. So let's get on the PC. <laughs> Right guys, so we've laid up Universal Minecraft Editor, I just want to find my save, which is under End Gateways. And we're going to go to Chunk. Now, we can't actually find it from our player. I don't know why this is, but anyway. we got this new diamond button up here now, okay? Which is a speciality mod. Yes, it's a bit glitched up, it's because I use a different resolution, okay? Normally it doesn't look like that. I'm sorry, yeah, anyway, so all I want to do is find the end portal, yeah? So on here we've got search, so this is the overworld, the never, and the end. Now we're obviously in the overworld, I changed that to tile entities, and all I'm going to do is typing end, pretty straightforward. Um, it's not that one, I know it's one of these guys here, uh, it's probably this one I would say. Nope, it's not that one. <laughs> there we go. So it's this one, okay? There it is, the one with five. So we can just exit out of that now. And we got this one here. So this is the um, end gateway that I spawned in with my spawner, okay? Now, your one, if you use this, will say five, but you need these little things here. So the best way of doing this is go onto your end gateway Go on here, add a byte tag, okay? And then in the description, I have got this as well, okay? So this is Minecraft Wiki. You got some data values here for the gateway block. Now what we need here is this exact teleport. So you control C that. Paste that in there, like so. Set that to one, and that's done. And now we need to add a compound tag. And this one is just called exit portal, like so, 
Then we need to add three of these int tags, but we need to do them in, well, I like to do them in the right order. So X is first, but they must all be capitals, okay? Y, and then Z, okay? Now for this tutorial, um, I'm only going to move it slightly. I'm just going to put it 70, so it's in that same box that I'm in. Four, and let's leave that at 148. So it's just going to come back, if that makes sense, from exactly where it is. And that is it, guys. That's all you have to do. And once you've done it once, all you can do is Control C, copy, 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 copy. Easy. Now that's that. Now I want to show you the banner, okay? So luckily for me, I chose, there it is, chose the wrong end gateway thing at the start. So up here, you can change which chunk you have. So I've got this banner, okay? Now this is to make the weird, you know, the chest or the sign teleporters, but this one's a banner, okay? Now this one is really unique. I can't wait to show you this one. So all I'm going to do is copy you know, a, a normal end gateway, okay? So just copy that, paste it in, and then use the little arrows and open up this. So you've got your banner, and you see the coordinates here, yeah? We need exactly the same with this. So this is the end gateway I'm editing now. So that's that, and the rest of that's fine. And I'm just gonna set the teleport in, just like I did with the starting of the video. Just so you know, it's just behind it so I can show you. And that is it guys. Now what's important with this, you need to delete the banner or chest or sign, or whatever you're using. I'm not 100% sure if this works with everything, but these are a few things I've found out anyway. So let's save and exit and hop on the Xbox and see what's happened, shall we? <laughs> Right, let's load this up, and we're going to go through the end gateway first, and make sure it's working. Um, so this is the one we edited together, okay, from the spawner, you remember? But I put these blocks here. Easy. <laughs> so that's all we had to do, okay? Pretty straightforward. Um, every time you go through it, a purple beam goes through it. Um, throw entities in it, look, you know, they go through it as well. Pretty straightforward. So just use the same gateway spawner guys. Do exactly what I did and edit on the Universal Minecraft editor. Straightforward. Now, this is the important one. As you can see, the banner isn't there. But the box if it is. Now if I walk up to this, I actually get teleported. How amazing is this? Now you could use this to troll your friends to hell, couldn't you? You can make a funny parkour map, and they jump through and they land there, boom! Ah! Oh, they get moved! You know, it's, this is crazy. I, I've, ne I've never seen anyone do this before. Um, especially invisible blocks, anyway. But what's really weird about this is, I could actually add things to the top of it. So if I wanted, I could add like a piece of carpet. <laughs> Stupid, I know. But, that's pretty cool, right? But anyway, uh, that's the end of episode 19. Um, I hope you like this one. I hope it helps a lot of um, people because I get a lot of questions about this all the time, how to do end gateways. But this is how to do them on Universal Minecraft Editor. Thanks very much for watching and goodbye. Bong.